Ah, we are gonna leave our luggage because we are so tired today. We're gonna have a beer because why not? Absolutely. We had no sleep last night, but a beer is always welcome. It's a natural, uh, you know, energizer. Welcome from Buenos Aires, Argentina. We've been around for like one week, but the weather has gone from bad to worse uh, as it uh, slowly turns into fall and winter here. You know, the seasons are reversed in South America and the Southern uh, Hemisphere. And it's like uh, middle of April, but it feels like October for me right now. And uh, we are exploring a bit Recoleta, which is the neighborhood where you should stay while in uh, Buenos Aires and uh, the main thing to do around here is to visit Recoleta Cemetery where all the famous uh, people from Argentina are buried. Where we are going to go right now is something that Edward will tell us. Where is that? What am I telling you? Where are we going to visit here in the cemetery? So the only places most people like us come into the cemetery, the only person that they know is Evita Peron. So I guess this is where we go. Okay. So uh, ticket to get to the cemetery and visit. It's not free, of course. Nothing is free in Argentina. Because unfortunately, if you are not aware, they are experiencing some terrible, dreadful hyperinflation right now, which is kind of sad because it's by far the most European city we've been in South America. A uh, ticket to visit this uh, cemetery, the rain is not included, it's 8,270 uh, Argentinian pesos. pesos, which is basically like 8 euros, but five years ago it was like much more. <laughs> anyway. Actually, no. no, no, it was more expensive, it was more it expensive, was less, uh, less pesos, which meant more, more money, more money. Okay. also the rain. It started raining the moment we entered here, so I'm just going to show you some pictures of some things around. I don't know. And we made it back home. Um, unfortunately, it started raining again while we were in the cemetery. Also, as I said, one of the staff members there told me I should not uh, take any videos. Uh, if you find this disrespectful in any way, I want to apologize. However, I do want to point out that uh, Recoleta Cemetery, where uh, you'll find uh, the resting places of many famous uh, um, celebrities and personalities from Argentina, is uh, seen as a major attraction in the city and is where most uh, foreigners and even locals visit a lot. There is an um, entry ticket you have to pay to enter. So it's like walking in a very famous popular park. Mm, you won't find many of these places around the world or at least not as famous and popular uh, that are usually on the attraction list of uh, the places you're visiting, like things to do, go visit the cemetery. It's not one of the main things, but anyway, uh, luckily it started raining, so it uh, cut our uh, visit short. Um, otherwise, you know, you can stay for longer. And uh, then we continue walking through the rain. Uh, we got ourselves some coffee. However, I don't want to spoil it for you, but coffee in Argentina seems to be some sort of uh, exotic uh, um, treat. Uh, although they have Starbucks and they have like their own chains, uh, coffee does not grow in Argentina and you can tell. However, they love their mate. It's a special tea you'll find everywhere in the supermarkets and in the cafes and everywhere. But coffee, not so much. There, there's a very limited uh, offering and uh, shops. 
And um, we visited a lot of, uh, of Buenos Aires like three days ago before it started raining. Uh, we walked a, um, around a lot. Uh, Recoleta neighborhood is one of their wealthiest, most pretty neighborhoods. This is where you'll find shops and cafes and all kinds of attractions and all kinds of buildings like theaters and palaces that remind you of the European uh, architecture. Uh, the area with the embassies is very nice. We walked uh, on that. There's a famous boulevard where the uh, expensive uh, shops are. And uh, there's quite a lot to do. A lot of people ask if uh, Buenos Aires is dangerous or is it safe? Buenos Aires, uh, I'm happy to tell you that's one of the safest uh, cities in South America. Not to say that uh, other places like Lima or Cusco in Peru or uh, Guatemala is not safe. But um, Buenos Aires does have a strong feel of um, European vibe and city. And uh, it's really safe, especially in this area where we are at right now. I don't feel like any weird things. Uh, very, very safe. Uh, people look very relaxed on the street. Uh, it's safe to take the metro, the public transportation, very safe as well. However, I do want to point out that the weather seems to be changing as you might know uh, the weather in the south uh, hemisphere is basically reversed to the one we have in the north hemisphere like in North America or in Europe so basically for uh, me coming from Europe right now I'm expecting summer so it's like middle of April I'm expecting summer here uh, back home but here uh, start, the weather's starting to change so it's um, quite rainy <laughs> I'm guessing they don't have like super cold rain, but it's like a rainy season. So definitely I could see that uh, coming in their way. So it's not really fun for us uh, to explore around any longer. Uh, that's why I was in a hurry to get to Argentina before the end of April so we can travel a bit around uh, Buenos Aires to explore the city. And then uh, we will be exploring Ushuaia, the southern more most uh, city in the world or about there um which is in argentina and uh, land uh, in patagonia basically it's like a dream coming true I cannot wait but i'm a bit afraid of the weather so it's gonna turn into winter soon so that's why i was in a hurry like let's go there before it starts uh, uh, getting super cold like freezing temperatures um it is you know kind of surrounded by glaciers like it's close for antarctica so you know uh also um after this we'll be back in buenos aires for a couple of days and after that i think i i checked the weather and unfortunately it's not gonna get any better it's gonna get colder because uh, right now it's just rainy it's not that cold it's like 20 something degrees you can wear a t-shirt but if it's rainy you're gonna get wet either way so we are gonna change the climate and head north a bit and uh, we're gonna also visit in Argentina the famous Iguazu waterfall which is a main attraction for anybody coming to South America and although it's quite a bit uh, a detour on our itinerary I decided that uh, I really want to go and see it so we're gonna make that effort make it happen so this is our plan for Argentina um, I, I'm really excited for this evening as well because we're gonna see a tango show so I'm gonna tell you all about it because uh, you cannot come visit Argentina without <laughs> attending a professional uh, tango show right and also I don't eat any meat so tango it is <laughs> 